Yes and no. You wield a power new and greater than many are capable of understanding, and to unforeseen repercussions. I worry of that. But greater still is our response to this power, how we approach it, and how we attempt to understand it. This city, our race, is built on the promise of plans reaching fruition, and as convicted as some are, others might be distracted by you. A simple enough question. The answer is unfortunately complicated. I speak with the authority of a Templar. It is enough to make my suspicions law, if need be. So I must remain silent, if I wish to learn what I need. Brutin! Bodyguard? I never hired any... Ugh, by Athene. I've been outmaneuvered. Whoever hired Bruton likely knew you would be watched, and knows you're meeting with me. You have to find Bruton. Whoever he's working for, they can't have good plans for you or me. I... I have been the one that has orchestrated your observation. There was much to gain, and relatively little to lose. You must understand, I meant no harm. We've been had. I gave you Sandstone Villa, hoping to use it to uncover the Templars, who have been plotting to exploit you for war. But in doing so, my quarry uses their agent, Bruton, to trace me through you. They'll have both of our heads if we don't stop them. You can leave me to deal with Octien. I believe Fomerus Hughes is on his way here, with information more pertinent to you. I hear that Templar Montanel... It was my mistake to assume that Octien would go quietly, or that he would leave evidence behind. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old, but luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Oh, great many prizes. Treatises on the nature of death, tables upon tables of autopsy analyses, but only one item of true value. Octien's diary. Based off of what I've read in these pages, Ventrinia has been working on an island off of Pluricon. I'm afraid the dark wood of Pluricon still hides our Tawatha enemies. But this young lady, Aileen Shear, says she has a solution for that. When you reach Ventrinia, beware. He is certainly a genius, but complicated. He may try killing you the second time for good measure. His mind may be dangerous, but it holds the secret to entering Alabastra, and you must find it. Oh, I will. In fact, I believe I'll be staying in Odessa to offer what support I can. With Octian out of the way, the people will be needing a new Templar, after all. My old colleague, Ventrinio Desilini. For a time we worked together under Templar Octien. He was a brilliant scholar, but a terrible person. Octien's journal shows that Ventrinio's assistant died during an important mission into the heart of Alabastra. I don't know how to say this, but the date of the assistant's death is shortly before you came back to life. You carry a grave responsibility now, my friend.
Yes. Well, I've learned enough about your doings to know when I've been found out. Took you long enough. When I was told I'd be targeting a man who came back from the dead, I thought I heard wrong. But then I learned about the Well of Souls. As soon as Juriel's out of the way, my employers will make the well theirs, and all of the power that comes with it. The Templars are not all of like mine for what road our civilization needs to take. Such as my employer. We plan on grander things for our brethren. But some are holding us back, like Joriel. So we'll kill her. Then they can experiment on you. But before that happens, me and the boys will have our fun. Yeah. Please tell me you've made some discovery about the letter. It must be recovered before too long. It was sent to Rathir via courier, a traveler by the name of Paron Well. She was the last to see the letter. Fair enough. not the outcome I had anticipated. That you were able to deal with it is gratifying. Killing Bruton should send a message to his masters to stop their plans. I heard what he said about my death. It seems I am indebted. With any luck, the serpent will not bite without its fangs. Our business can be concluded. You 
have proven capable beyond measure. As a reward, I give you the deed to Sandstone Villa. It is now yours, completely. If you wish, you may make improvements to it at the Grand Bursas. Now there is much I must attend to. I am off. Welcome to the Bursars. Welcome to the Grand Bursars, the city's financial heart. Though not a gnome, my superiors have authorized me to help you as best I can. We can offer loans, property development opportunities, and oversight on investments made with us. Now, what could I do for you? Ah, so you are the new owner of Sandstone Villa. Very well. If you wish, we can have crews begin work immediately. Excellent. We'll begin work at once. Have a pleasant day. Hello again. What can I assist you with? Is that so? Well, we can certainly arrange that. Work shall begin on it at once. We've supplied you with a forge should you feel the desire to perform some handiwork of your own. Very good. We'll have it ready for you soon. Have a pleasant day. Hello again. What can I assist you with? Is that so? Very well. The labs have graciously donated a potion bench for your private use. But after this point, we won't be able to work any further on the house. You won't regret it, I can assure you. Have a pleasant day. Hello again. What can I assist you with? Regrettably, no. The quality and strength of the stone in your foundation cannot support any additional work. My apologies. Have a pleasant day. Hello again. What can I assist you with? Very well. We'll invest a standard capital on your behalf. We can't promise its return, but we will invest it to your discretion. Well enough. The capital will partly finance a new Motus mining expedition, which can bring great wealth or nothing. Have a pleasant day. Hello again. What can I assist you with? I'm afraid your investments have yet to reach. Have a pleasant day. Uh. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't tarry here.
What is it? Have you done all the work you've wanted to? I see. I'll pay you for the containers you dispelled. Speak with me again if you want more work. Good. You can find them in the same place. Speak to me when you've managed to do at least one. A pleasure. Have you done all the work you've wanted to? A pleasure. Have you done all the work you've wanted to? I see. I'll pay you for the containers you dispelled. Uh, I'm never going to get these blasted. A pleasure. of Ironfast Keep are at your command, True Shield. No! What? You bastard! That rotten, useless idiot! 
idiot! How could he do this to me? He said he'd come back! Please, you must be mistaken. Please, tell me it's someone else. That fool. Go away, please. I'm new to the Warsworn, but they say I have Liana's spirit. She was the first Sempester, a champion of sorts, I think. It's a far-off concern to us in Ironfast. The Tuatha must be stopped. The only question is how much is needed to stop them. I'll fight if it comes to that. This may be the hardest post outside of Mel Senshir. I can't remember the last time we glimpsed the outside world. Might as well be in prison. Don't you ask about him! How dare you, you insensitive coward! Leave me be! Students of magic, masters of spell. Don't you just love the luminary leaf? I could sit here reading for days and not reach past the first shelf. War is ugly. Perhaps if the generals did more reading, and the scholars did more fighting, then everyone would better understand the pointlessness of violence. I'm studying in preparation to join the Scolia Arcana. Is there any other reason to be in Rathir? This is where magic lives. Archsage, you know Rathir as well as any of us. Its secrets, its power. I should be asking you about the city. How do you know my brother? Wait. He's dead? Ram. No, it can't be. I told him. I told him this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. Pig-headed fool! War isn't the way. Anyone who knows history knows that. But Ram was too impatient for words. He was so brash, so... brave. We couldn't have been more different, Ram and I. He always excelled at hunting, fighting, combat. Me? I was always the family joke. A boy with his nose in a book. What Ram never knew, and will never know now, is that I admired him greatly. I wanted to be like him. Strong, confident, passionate. True, I believe that the Crystal War is a doomed affair. But my criticism of it was more about keeping my brother home. Home. Safe. Please, 
Truth be told, I never know how to arrange the magic section. Hire an aspiring Scolia Arcana student for it. That's what I ought to do. Until next time. Four and thirty. Not a go. Ships are loading now for Melsen Shear. Are you ready to board? Suit yourself. You've had word of our gene. Uh, no matter. It's iron I need, not orders. Music to my ears. Farewell. seem to have attracted a guest. What can I help you with? Hmm? Oh, that would be the squeaky little gnome from Odessa. Smelled like vellum and book paste, as I recall. I was hired to take the note from him. Sure as rain. A gnomish scholar named Arancourt hired me to take it and throw it in the quarry. That's where you can find that letter if you're looking. And I can even give you Arancourt's orders as proof. If you pay the right price. I suppose you're right. If you care so much about the little rag, I can part ways with it. Now don't say I didn't give you anything. Arjean is the leader and founder of Sun Camp. She must be one of the oldest travelers in the Feylands. The woman's heart is cold iron. Come now, you don't expect me to have actually read the thing. I have my reputation as a courier to think of. Sun Camp is built around trade. Arjean started it before Odessa was built, and she keeps her tinker's hands very busy. Surely you're joking. Everyone knows the Hierophant, one of the pillars of a traveler's life. 
The Hierophant uses prophecy to see what we must steal and steers our hands. Without that, we would be blind. We don't deal in swords and wars or magic. Clever hands and quick eyes are what suit a traveler best. It's in the quarry. I was paid to throw it down there by some gnome. Scala Aaron calls her name. It's all written in those orders I gave you, every last detail. Good. Turn, box and all. Boxes are for opening, young thief. But still, this task can be held completed. Except it is not. There is no way into this box nor its contents. How can this pick be of any use to us? This note mentions Guyon Stebic. He's with Motus Mining. Hmm. Break into his laboratory, find this Aravis engine, and use it to free the key then. From what I'm able to surmise, the pick was confiscated from Aloran because she was to send it to Gion Stebic, an outcast scholar. Gion seems to have some means at his disposal which Aloran thought could free the pick, this device called the Erevis Engine. Break into Gion's lab and you can use the device to free the pick from the box, in the Hierophant's name. Farewell. Hello there. Got a few odds and ends for sale here, if you're looking for that. That sort. Also buying if you need a fence. So long. I help you?
found the letter. But why would scholar Erincourt want it to be sent and lost? She commissioned the letter in the first place. I... Uh, it is above my station to question her. But there is a higher plan at work. Please, stranger, find Erincourt and learn what is happening. She can be found in the Isles, probably in the Basilica Nostra. She needs to be confronted with the information we found regarding the letter. Fair enough.
Well, look at you. You... I have heard that someone was helping my subordinate, Corden. It seems he has lost a very, very important letter. While I applaud your diligence in tracking this to me, I'm sad to say that Corden's error is grievous. He will be punished for losing the letter. The scholars first found this crater brimming with strange potential. In studying the area, more equipment than people came until a city was born. It is the product of centuries of learning. Here we distill the experiences of our race into axioms, knowledge that future generations may live by. While my background lies in the study of magical acuity contextualized by race, somehow I ended up being a basilical liaison to the Domus concerning Fae and Alfar. That is a half-truth. I requested the letter of Corden true, but it was not my idea. That came from a higher source. The Templars have reached a tentative quorum regarding our stance in the war, but a cautious few requested I draft this letter. A Templar must be obeyed. But what can be done when they give conflicting orders? So I had the letter written, and Corden lost it. I... Damn it all. I knew that Dirty Traveler was not capable of performing even the simplest of tasks. I will not allow you the privilege of extorting me. I will resign my position and name Corden as my replacement. We shall see how he fares. I would be very careful if I were you. You are known to the Templars, and it was never their intention to treat you lightly. I see. What is it? You! You won't believe this! I've been presented with the opportunity to join the Basilica Nostra! Must have been from your help. I never thought in my wildest years. I only hope to correct a mistake. It will take time to be approved, but here is your reward with my thanks. Fair enough.
something curious at work here. The Hierophant predicted that you would steal the Master's pick, and you come back with this. I've heeded Arsia for years, always speaking truth, always. But this job, this failure, is a fallacy. How could the Hierophant be wrong? Never mind that. There is a more pressing matter at hand. The Hierophant has another task for you. You must pray at the Hierophant Shrine in camp. It is the only means of conversing to our guide. Be gone. And lastly, you arrive. There is something hesitant in your step, I see. But it is not your step that concerns me. I have learned that an enemy of the Travelers is soon to meet his end. Mon Cointaker has been sentenced to execution. His is a sordid life, and his will be a fitting death. He was a cutthroat, a brigand, a highwayman, and former traveler. He left my flock when we would not serve his gruesome tastes, and with his bloody ways he amassed a great fortune coveted by many. It would be, if he was not a monster and a cutthroat. But despite this, Mon has amassed a sizable horde before his arrest. He has cost the Travelers dearly many times, and sullied our name with his murders. Let the Travelers see the price of those that cross me. He is being held in Convict's Cavern in Apatir. He will give you the key to his horde. This I have foreseen. Well, looks like one of Arshin's blew in here. Wonder what the guards would do if I called them over. But Morn won't do that, though it sounds a bit of fun. You are a traveler, aren't you? Suppose Sun Camp came to gloat. Rats in the desert fighting over my table scraps. Only now they have a shot at the whole feast. More likable than you spineless travelers at any rate. Oh, come now, I can't be all that bad, can I? Maybe I did slit some throats. They'll still remember me as the richest son of a bitch in Apatir, who laughed in the Hierophant's face. I can't believe I ever walked with you cowards. Can take a man's livelihood, but not his life, eh? Well, they've welded my door shut until I reached the gallows, so it's yours. But this is only part of the key you'll need. See? I'm a fair man. I gave the other pieces to the Zungars and the Dark Varis. They're looking for my treasure right now, and I don't think they'll share. This is what you scabs get for picking at Mon's bones. Claim my gold if you dare. Arjin can hold my debt fulfilled if you survive. Ah, my old stomping grounds. Would that I could see it now, filled with eager Zungars and Dark Varis, spilling their blood for my gold. It's hidden in Snaketail Grotto. 
But the Zungars and the Dark Varus are probably at each other's throats trying to get it. Good hunting. That's something. 